Sunrise by Charles Erskine Scott Wood, 1852 to 1944. The lean coyote, prowler of the night, slips to his rocky fastness. Jack rabbits noiselessly shuttle among the sagebrush and from the castellated cliffs rock ravens launch their proud black sails upon the day. The wild horses troop back to their pastures. The poplar trees watch beside the irrigation ditches. Orioles whose nests sway in the cottonwool trees by the ditch side begin to twitter. All shy things, breathless, watch the thin white skirts of dawn, the dancer of the sky who trips daintily down the mountainside, emptying her crystal chalice, and a red bird dipped in the sunrise cracks from a poplar's top, his exultant whip above a silver world. Okay, so this is a description of sunrise, of dawn. So let's see, Charles Erskine Scott Wood, he was a soldier, I, he's an American, I believe he came from Pennsylvania. Um, he went to West Point, I, th I think, and uh, he's known as a lawyer, an author, a libertarian, and a soldier, and a poet. He also painted watercolours as well. So. Let's see, this, this poem, this is a description of dawn, a description of sunrise, and how the animals are reacting to it. So the lean coyote, this is like a, a dog or a wolf in the United States, prowler of the night. So this is somebody who's hunting, looking, walking around uh, cautiously and in a hidden way during the night and he slips to his rocky fastness. So I think the coyote is a nocturnal animal and therefore he goes back to his rocky fastness. Fast here means um, not moving, somewhere safe. So he goes back to his de den or his, to his lair. Jackrabbits noiselessly shuttle among the sagebrush I think a jackrabbit is actually what I would call a hare, it's like a big rabbit. And they noiselessly shuttle, move around among the sagebrush, so the low plants made of sage. So the jackrabbits are moving around. And from the castellated cliffs, rock ravens launch their proud black sails upon the day. So castellated is like the rampart of a castle and it goes up and down and this is castellated yeah so from the castellated uh, cliffs these big high cliffs rock ravens they're birds black ravens launch their proud sails upon the day this is a lovely metaphor their proud black sails this is talking about their wings so they start to fly from the castellated cliffs they start to fly because the day is coming the wild horses troop back to their pastures. So the wild horses are probably found somewhere safer to sleep for the night and now they're going back to the fields where they can eat grass. The poplar trees watch beside the irrigation ditches. So poplar trees are very tall trees and it's like the poplar trees are watching the, this scene by um, channels that are made to irrigate the land. Orioles, this is a bird, whose nests sway, they move backwards and forwards to sway in the wind. So whose nests sway in the cottonwood trees by the ditch side begin to twitter. To twitter. Okay, so orioles that make their nest in these trees by the ditches begin to twitter. All shy things, breathless watch, the thin white skirt of dawn. So shy is timid. So all of the shy creatures who've been hiding all night, 
breathless they're waiting they want they, they want to come out because uh, the sun's coming up and they're watching they're looking to see if it's time to go out yet and they watch the thin white skirts of dawn here this is an lo another lovely metaphor because dawn it it slowly comes up and the, he's uh, drawing a metaphor between the lightning of the sky and a skirt the thin white skirts of dawn the dancer of the sky who trips daintily down the mountainside emptying her crystal chalice so the dancer of the sky this is the sun the sun's coming and who trips daintily who dances in a in an agile and uh, um, elegant fashion down the mountainside so the sunlight is moving down the mountainside as the sun comes up emptying her crystal chalice again a lovely metaphor so a chalice is um, a cup it's the cup that you uh, drink the wine from in church but so the sun is emptying her uh, uh, drinking vessel made of glass is emptying her sunshine her light all over the uh, world and a red bird dipped in sunrise so it's dipped in sunrise it's been it's like you dip your biscuit in your coffee it's been covered in the light of sunrise cracks from a poplar's top so it lifts off from a tree her exultant whip 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 above a silver world so the birds is flying above the world that will look silver from below now that the uh, sun is here so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon um, sunrise by Charles Erskine Scott Wood